in the class is entry 3520, Heinland Goldwing Tidbit, exhibited by Firm Boulet of Montmagny, Quebec. <laughs> the winning entry is entry 3532, Brainwave Dundee Life Leisure, exhibited by Jordan and Whitney Ebert of Algoma, Wisconsin. Congratulations. And judge your comments. Just another terrific class of young cows here, second and third calves. But uh, we switched these two here at the top. We brought them to the top where the ultra dairy cow in third. Just when we got them in line, they just outscaled and capacity over top of that ultra dairy cow in third. And between these two cows, it is close placing. I'm just giving the advantage. She's got that other extra strength up through her front end. She's got that length from the, where her forerunner blends into her body wall to the turn at the bottom of her rear rudder, just long in that part of her section. She's just higher at the top of her rear rudder. Her medium suspensory at the floor goes right up to the middle of her rear rudder, right up to the very top, just a little deeper than this dairy. Silky dairy cow we have coming in second. The second cow, again, she uses that size and scale. When she gets in line, she's taller at the point of her shoulder, she's taller back through her pelvis. Just a little wider all the way through than this ultra dairy cow, and I made her my best other cow in the class. She uses that rear rudder to carry over top of the big powerful half rear and fourth. She's more even in, in her rear quarters than the, than the cow in fourth. The fourth cow, she's got that frame and capacity. It's a close place in here with fourth and fifth, but she just moves so much more freely on her rear legs than this real square angular cow we have coming in fifth. The fifth cow, she uses that angularity and her square to her frame to carry over the big powerful cow coming in second. But a great class of cows again.